right now uh, you can see that I have my two rocks they're drying drying and I have three sticks these three sticks I'm gonna make a quick tripod and in my hand I have a small piece of bank line this is about oh I'm guessing about six feet long and I have it tied to a piece of wood a toggle and on the other end I have just a bowling uh, just a loop it doesn't matter what type of knot you use really it's just it's good to have uh, something tied a uh, loop wise so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wrap this loop around my my pieces of wood and I'm gonna stick my toggle through the loop just like so and I'm gonna leave approximately six inches of material hanging up here of the wood I'm just gonna circle this around doesn't need to be gorilla tight okay but we do want it fairly snug and I'm just basically gonna be making a simple little tripod here once you start getting close to the end of your line where you have oh maybe a foot and a half left and we're gonna start weaving it in between the layers here and this is number 18 bank line uh, you can also use paracord, you can also use number 15 bank line, 36, whatever you have, just basically any kind of cordage really. And uh, the reason I like the smaller bank line for making these tripods is because it seems to slip through the cracks a little bit easier. And then at the very end, I'm just going to drop this right in the middle. And now I'll have me a nice little tripod that I can put right over the fire so if I want to purify water or any things of that nature I have my little tripod and I have my toggle right here so I can hang things off of this toggle such as water bottles and things like that cooking things of that nature so here's our fire and basically I'm gonna take my tripod and put it directly around the fire. Don't worry if you get some flames on the legs. As long as it's not burning the wood of the legs, you'll be fine. And again, here's your toggle. You can take that toggle and raise and lower it, you know, depending on how many wraps. So if the toggle's too low, pull it up and wrap it around. And what that'll do is that'll make it a little higher so you're not getting into those flames as much. I'm gonna go get my water bottle and hang it off of there and start purifying some water. So here's my canteen. I'm basically gonna take the lid off and I have a fish mouth opener that I like to use. What this does is this will go in the mouth of the bottle and then right here where my fingers holding the bottle that's going to go around this toggle. So I'm going to unwrap it a wrap or two. Put this through here like so and that'll hold that bottle right over the fire and so from here we can purify our water. The lid right here I'm just going to set it on the tripod. We're set. Now we're going to start purifying water. That's where I put the lid in case you didn't see. So again, if the flames start showing that they're too high or something like that, then I'll put another wrap around it and raise that whole setup. So this is just something to do in the meantime while I'm waiting on those coals to get ready. Well, our water just started to boil, so now we're actually at the purification stage of the water. So we'll let that boil for about five minutes, then we'll pull it off and it'll be good to go. We'll have 64 ounces of water. In the meantime, uh, we're waiting on the steaks to thaw out, and I'm hoping that we don't lose daylight. It's starting to get kind of afternoonish, so 
My hope is that we don't have to finish this in the dark. <laughs> we'll talk to you soon.